Hello, this is Chris9017, and what we're looking at right now is a pretty new purchase from Train World Online. This right here is a uh, Bachman 260 Mogul. The engine was actually not too expensive for a Bachman Mogul. She was only about two hundred and uh, two hundred and fifty dollars, so that's actually pretty inexpensive for one of these. I've seen the prices on these go as high as uh, 600 and they think that's a bargain. <laughs> no way. But it is uh, worth about $400, I would think. It's worth pretty much almost every last penny. She doesn't have sound yet. I do plan to send her off to Phoenix for them to install a sound. She does have an operating headlight, operating smoke unit with on-off switch, polarity switch, She's got a brass machine bell with a metal clapper on the inside. She's got a, a brass plated whistle. As you see in her cab, she's got really good boiler backhead detail including steam gauge, piping, throttle, main pressure gauge, water sight glass, injectors, dry cocks, also the hydrostatic lubricator, the main shutoff valve, the firebox door. As you see right here, these are actual metal tanks. That's a metal brake pump. And these are actually aluminum alloy connecting rods. That's an actual metal uh, air compressor with uh, beautifully machined metal handrails, beautifully machined metal uh, boiler brass bands and you can see all the piping and you can see a lot of nut, bolt, and washer detail more rivets than you would care to count blackened machine metal wheels a lot of firebox stay bolts metal running boards with a grid sheet like they had in the old days she also has an in-glowing firebox and ash pan and at night you would see this glow she also has a brake wheel, authentic looking trucks with brake beams, hangers, and shoes. Also, there are beautifully blackened machine wheels on the tender trucks. Accurate springs and the brake shoe assembly. And she's also got the uh, realistic toolboxes, coupler detail. And the uh, footboard, or also known as a footplate, and the toolbox is actually open up. Brake handle actually turns too. And she has a realistic drawbar and authentic brass machined flagpoles. Bachman spent thousands of hours from drawings to some of the actual locomotives to painstakingly reproduce every last detail which results in one of the most realistic models you can find out in the market. She also performs very well and if I could run her here I would. Unfortunately the curves for my track here are only four feet radius. This engine needs an eight foot radius curve otherwise she'll start derailing. There are these moguls are never good on tight turns. Even though she has a blind tire right here where it's flat, she won't take it very well on the curves. This engine here, I bought it for my new girlfriend, Nicole. I plan to name it a locomotive after her since every girl I tend to really care about and uh, develop feelings for, I buy a locomotive and name it after them. This time, what I did was I gave her a selection of a few locomotives and told her I was going to name it after her. And I gave her a few selections. She chose this one since this one appealed to her. And to honor her request, I bought it for her. 
And next is to get the sound unit, but at the moment I can't afford the sound unit because my parents just found out about my spending on model trains. And uh, for the time being, they said they'll have me keep the engine, but pretty much the engine belong this engine belongs to them. And they don't want me putting a sound unit until later on, around January or February. And that sucks. But hey, it is what it is. And besides, there's not going to be another uh, model train event for a long time, so not until May. So we can wait on it. And I informed Nicole about it, and she's cool with it. Yeah, this is a beautiful engine. And I say, I do favor this mogul over the ones that have a lot of brass on them. I do have uh, Kansas City Central, which also is very brassy, along with the newly restored South Pacific Coast, which is one of my old ones and very cantankerous, but still very beautiful, covered in brass and everything. But this one I tend to favor more in the plain paint sheen because she looks more authentic and has more of an authentic feel to her. Yeah. Bachman does a really good job making uh, realistic looking models, especially in their Spectrum line, like their moguls. I always did like her, their 440s and 260s the best. They make great logging engines, mining engines, and geared locos, and Malleys and Fornies, but to me, their main. Their main lookers are the 260s and 440s, the old-fashioned locomotives. I've grown up with pretty much this style of locomotive by visiting the California State Railroad Museum, Disneyland Railroad, and Walt Disney World Railroad very often, and it was mostly this style, and uh, that's the style I'm most familiar with, and it's the style I pretty much like over the other styles. In terms of... Uh, how backdated they are. I'm really into the very old fashioned, old school locomotives. And this is like a 1870s era. And that was pretty much the golden age. The golden age of the old fashioned steam locomotive. Yeah. The engine also has an inside operating Stevenson valve gear. Behind the rods, you can see the eccentrics, and this engine has about four eccentrics, which is actually not a lot for a mogul. And it's actually very easy to maintain. It doesn't require a lot of oil. As you saw in uh, a video I made earlier of uh, this engine's predecessor, Freya, they're actually very easy to, uh, to lubricate and maintain. But I will say this, I don't recommend using this for outdoors by uh, the salt air. So if you live by the ocean, uh, be very careful with one of these because they'll easily fall apart. This engine's predecessor, Freya, was completely corroded underneath, which required a lot of uh, rebuilding and overhauling. Also, most of the electrical wires were beaten up and uh, oxidized. So, if you live by the uh, salt air, only bring this out from time to time. Don't use it all the time. But if you live up somewhere um, where you're nowhere near salt air, in uh, very pure air, then this would be just fine to run outdoors. It would bring you a lot of beauty and uh, a lot of fun and enjoyment, too. Well, that's it for now. We'll take one last full look at this beautiful locomotive. Chris 9017, out.